What's up, LaToya? Here we are, right here at the hottest show on Broadway, Motown the Musical. We're about to go inside, get a backstage behind the scenes look that you have never seen. We got the hottest ticket in town. We're going to see Belicia Lake, the star. Can I call you? Miss Diana Ross herself? I think it's okay for this show you can call me Miss <laughs> Diana Ross. Only when she's not around. So you were Tony nominated for yes. the show. Tell us what that feels like, I mean, to come out and play Diana Ross mm -hmm. and to get nominated for a Tony in the process. It was a real, real honor and very humbling. I think this is the first time her life has sort of been portrayed in this sort of capacity for people to recognize what Mr. Gordy has put on the page and what I have put on the stage. I'm so excited because this year has been nothing but a blessing. You know, one of the moments of the show, you come out and you sing, you invite people to sing yes. with you. Yes. Diana Ross was in the audience at one night. Uh, Tell yes. us what that was like to have Diana there. I always think of her as being here every night. Right. So, be, like, from day right. one, I've always said, Miss Ross is in the house, you have to do your best, you have to make her proud. So, she's always with me. And so, to have her physically here in the audience is just another blessing and just the icing on the cake. Yeah. Well, we know you have a show to do tonight, yes. and we'll all be applauding. And Thank if you, you haven't seen the show, you need to. This is Felicia LeCay. <laughs> this is Barry Gordy in his other life. But in your real life, Brandon Victor Dixon. Barry Gordon is the producer of the show. And the writer. You're, and the writer, and you're playing him. What was that experience like? He was very supportive of my choices. He really trusted me as an actor, and he saw that I did my work. You know, I read his autobiography, but I also read the, the autobiographies of a lot of the other artists. What's your favorite part of the show? I really love performing the, the final number of the show, the Can I Close the Door? Oh, yes, that's beautiful. Yeah, you know, Barry, yes. Barry wrote the song for this show and uh, I have a special connection with it because it came out of our developing the show. It's one of the only things that's ever been written for me, and when I got it, it just it fit right in. Thank you very much. No problem. All right. My pleasure. <laughs> this is Smokey Robinson, if you didn't know, in the show. <laughs> we have Smokey Robinson here. How's it going, everybody? When you come out, the first time you talk and people yeah. hear your voice, yeah. there's always a reaction. What is that? That is just a reaction to hearing Smokey, you know, because he has that very unique sound. What is that sound? Give the people a little of the Smokey Robinson. Well, you know, Smokey has a smooth sound. He talks a little <laughs> bit higher than I do. Um, you know, it's Smokey. <laughs> <laughs> now, you, you did Tony nominated. Yes, That's yes, very big yes. playing Smokey Robinson. And it's good for you, and it's good that somebody recognizes somebody playing Smokey Robinson. Absolutely, yeah. It's an honor just to play him and to get to go to the Tony Awards and perform on the Tonys for the first time and be there for the first time. It's just. The roller coaster just keeps getting better. We love everything that's been done and everything you're doing on this show. It's excellent. We're gonna let you go, get back. Thank you. You know you got a show tonight. I got a show to do. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very right, much. Man. Charles nice Brown, you. everybody. Thank you, Culture List, for hanging out with us. And we gave you the hottest ticket to the hottest show on Broadway. This is the Culture List, and we wouldn't let you down. And you saw all backstage. We're right here. And that's it. I'm Eric Parker, and it's a wrap.